Hi, I'm Scott Wicker. I'm uh, the Kimberley Clark Australia Mill Manager here at the Millicent Mill in the Limestone Coast in South Australia. At the Millicent Mill, we produce a range of tissue products for the consumer market here in Australia and New Zealand. We take product all the way from the base pulp product that we buy from overseas all the way through to finished product. And this is the end of what is a very long process involving the processing of wood pulp through to a finished product here. The wood pulp itself is actually made from timber, from trees that are cut down and chipped and processed through a pulp mill to release the fibres that inherently exist in the tissue. And there are different types of fibres. There's what we call long fibre, which, protect, which generally comes from a softwood tree, like a pine tree, or you have hardwood fibres, which are short fibres, which come from eucalyptus trees. Here at Millicent we use a lot of long fibre that comes from New Zealand, we use long fibre that comes from North America, and we use, surprisingly, a lot of eucalypt fibre that is produced in South America. Wood pulp comes into the Millicent Mill in a large bale form. The wires on the bale are cut and it's put into a large beater or mix master. To break it down, we add water to it and dilute it down so that we can pump the, the pulp around the mill. We use different types of pulps to achieve different properties in the papers that we produce. So facial tissue has different properties to bathroom tissue and towel products. We mix those pulps in a fixed blend for the different products to achieve the properties that we want in the different tissue products and that goes to a paper machine. We control how much fibre is in the width of the paper machine and we dry it. We dry it and we make that at very high speed. There's a number of chemicals that go into the, uh, the tissue to produce different properties such as its ability to be strong when it's wet, we call that wet strength, and also its dry strength, its thickness, its colour, we have mechanisms of controlling all of that. At the end of the tissue machine, the paper is wound up into a big roll, and that becomes known as a soft roll from the tissue machine. It goes through to be wound together with another roll if we're making something that is more than one ply, because on a tissue machine, it's produced as a one ply product. It goes through another process called a rewinding process to be brought together to be a two and a three ply product. And that hard roll then goes to a converting line, which converts that tissue into the finished product. So whether it's a box of Kleenex facial tissue, a roll of cotton or toilet paper, or a roll of Viva towel, that all comes from here in the limestone coast and goes all over Australia and into New Zealand. You see the product behind us on pallets. It comes out of our warehouse when we get an order and is loaded onto a truck and from here it goes to any one of our many distribution centres across Australia. Many, many years ago when I first started in this business, the rolls of product to go into a box were placed by hand. Now you would never do that in Australia. The processes have changed with the introduction of higher levels of technology. So what that, that has done has meant that the people that work here have to have higher and higher skills and we've developed people's skills over the years to be able to deal with that technology. And we buy technology that is cutting edge. It might only be toilet paper or facial tissue to you as a consumer, but the technology that's involved with the distributed control um, to make this product is right at the cutting edge of technology. <laughs>